are breaking coverage with the San Diegans who will be hit hardest by this if the shutdown doesn't end quickly. Our tenders reporter Anthony Pura is live. And Anthony, if there's a hiccup in the house, the impact will be different, but significant for a lot of people. That's right. The last shutdown affected a lot of civilian workers at the bases here. It also impacted tourism that the parks brought in. But tonight I spoke with a dreamer because, as Brian mentioned, they have a lot at stake in Washington, too. Even before the second government shutdown of 2018, Congress had Francisco Peralta's attention. A lot of doors opened up because of the DACA program. He's one of an estimated 700,000 dreamers at the center of Washington's budget showdown. I was looking at the headlines and I was listening to the news and basically they were saying that this was a done deal. It was a busy day. I was in class and I had to run to a couple of meetings and I come out and there's like a whole new different dimension of what's been happening in the last couple of hours. Those last few hours led to the encore of late January. That government shutdown closed Cabrillo National Monument. Nearly 37,000 of the 46,000 federal employees in San Diego were impacted. Paychecks for the tens of thousands of civilian employees were held in limbo. And local active duty military members went to work but couldn't get paid until the government reopened. Dreamers like Francisco had a strange position again. Unfortunately, we're being used as a hostage in this negotiation. We also, as dreamers, we are also concerned as many other people in the community. We want the government to be able to be function and functioning efficiently, but we also want our, our, our issue to be discussed in the table. And he thinks the blame game should be left to the politicians. We're not holding the boat. This is not a DACA issue, and it should not be framed and as Francisco such. Francisco says he hopes the DACA issue is resolved sooner than later, ahead of that March 5th deadline. We're reporting live tonight, Anthony Pura, 10 News. Anthony